Second Asian Games for PV Sindhu, a silver medal for her at uh, Jakarta. Sindhu, it's difficult to, you know, bottle your emotions, especially after, you know, you lost the final. But it's completed all your career medal set for you as well. I asked that question to Saina a short while back. She's had a longer wait, not for you. Um, yeah, I'm really very happy about it when it comes to uh, the tournaments, like the official tournaments, if I can say, like the World Championships and... Uh, Olympics and then the Asian Games and Commonwealth Games. So it's, uh, yeah, as you said, it's complete, I feel. But yeah, it's it's um, it's still not yet. There are many more to come, for sure. And uh, I think overall, talking about the Asian Games, it's been uh, really good for me uh, this week. I mean, in the team events and uh, the individuals as well. Even though I, uh, you know, I was silver, I'm happy with it. Because, you know, one or the other day, you lose, you win some. So, um, I think in the finals also it went on well. But, you know, only one can win and one can lose. So, overall, it's been a very good tournament for me. Individual players, especially at your level, you all love the thrill of winning. You won so much. But how do you deal with the emotion of defeat, Sindhu? Is it difficult to take? I mean, yeah, it is. I mean, at that point of time, it feels really bad. Um, but I think um, you have to come back stronger. And that's what I feel because, you know, after the loss in the World Championships, I felt bad again, silver for the second time. But uh, I think I, com I came back much more stronger and definitely uh, proved myself um, in the Asian Games. And, uh, well, I'm not upset of getting a silver, but I'm really grateful that, you know, I've been the first Indian in badminton singles that I've got silver. So I'm happy about it. But yeah, definitely taking positives from these, I think I uh, have to go back and, um, you know, uh, practice on my mistakes and come back much more stronger. What's that feeling, having two Indians on the podium? We saw it at the World Championship and this field here is almost the Olympic field, barring a couple of European players, maybe a Marine. This is perhaps stronger. Yes. Yeah, I mean, definitely, yes. Uh, I think Asian Games is... Uh, definitely one of the important tournaments for everybody because it, it comes once uh, in four years and also for me too it is very important and it's really nice and great to see that uh, two Indians on the podium standing there so it feels really nice you know when our flag uh, goes there <laughs> hi uh, so happy about it I'm going to let you go with the others waiting for well, the final question uh, Tai Zhu is someone you beat at the Olympics, but she's gone on this incredible run since then. She's raised a game like anything. Uh, I saw Saina and Gopi also this, you know, talking about the match as well. You, do you think that uh, the way she's elevated her game, there is something which all of you all need to get together and figure out how to, how to actually catch up with her as, as players? Well, I think, you know, definitely she's a very good player. She's a great player. And, um, yeah, I mean, uh, I think the last year and this year has been very good for her. Uh, well, talking about her, she's a very deceptive player. And I think definitely it is not so uh, tough to beat her. Definitely we will, we can beat her. And I think you need to be, uh, I mean, in today's, talking about today's match, you ha I think for me, I would have uh, played much more in the court rather than, you know, I was just making simple errors and giving her the lead. So that, you know, by the time I wanted to cover the lead, you know, a few more points were going. Uh, so that is, that's where... Um, the difference was uh, there, but otherwise, I think everything went on well. Refreshingly honest to see you admit your mistakes, but uh, well, this is sport, so congratulations once again on the silver. Thank